still need, uh, you know, the spikes on your shoes, those little tracks, you know, because uh, those shaded spots are always still a little bit icy. Speaking of icy, we still have some snow in some areas. I went ice sledding today yeah, with my kids. It was fun. I don't recommend it. I am a little sore, uh, but we had fun. Uh, we have got a warming trend underway across southern Colorado. That cold pool of air is going to go back uh, where it's from, you know, back towards Canada, the Canadian provinces. And it's going to allow a little bit of uh, warmth to build into our region. So uh, we are expecting high pressure to start to move into our area, and that will help uh, temperatures warm above average for Saturday. What? What did you say? Oh, you're not complaining? Yeah, I know. I'm not either. I mean, temperatures in the 50s, near 60 degrees. I know. I know. I know. I'm coming with some jokes today. Sunday, another beautiful day across the area. And uh, you'll notice this is our next system. Not going to be here Sunday, but Monday, this bad mamma jamma is going to start to come across our area, and it's going to knock our temperatures down into the teens by Monday night. And we really won't make it out of the teens for Tuesday or Wednesday. So it's going to be frigid, bitter cold next week. So enjoy this tomorrow. Temperatures in the 40s to near 50 degrees. A few degrees above average, but you know, not too aggressive. 55 in Colorado Springs. Uh, we're looking at 54 in Fountain, 50 in Falcon, 38 in Cripple Creek. Still not too bad. 59 in Pueblo and 41 in Westcliff. Temperatures will be in the 60s across the southeastern plains. So the forecast at a glance, not too shabby. We're steady highs in the 50s for Colorado Springs both Saturday and Sunday. You ready for the other part? We're going to talk about it. Monday, an increase in cloud cover. Cold front pushes across the region. Most of the snow stays across the high country. Some snow could move as close to Woodland Park Monday afternoon, uh, but we do expect those colder temperatures to start to move in Monday night and it is going to be frigid both Tuesday and Wednesday. Then we're expecting another system to come across parts of the San Juans. Uh, that is all snow that you're looking at here for Tuesday afternoon and Tuesday evening coming across parts of I-25 areas into the Eastern Plains. This is a low resolution model, so it looks very overdone right now which means all these locations are not going to get snow. It's not going to be uh, congruent across the entire state. But do we expect some region-wide snow? Absolutely. Uh, you'll notice by Wednesday morning and Wednesday afternoon, that system starts to lift back towards the north and west. I think these next couple of systems are going to be great for the high country and give us a little bit of snow. But with the temperature profile being as frigid as it's going to get Tuesday and Wednesday, it's not going to take much snow to cause those travel impacts. Just a light coating will start to cause problems. So enjoy the weekend. Do it. Temperatures in the 40s Saturday and Sunday, then cloud cover on Monday. And then we've got those snow showers kicking in for Woodland Park on Tuesday. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if Woodland Park gets a few spillover snow showers Monday night. But look at those overnight lows down close to zero Monday night, sub-zero Tuesday. So kind of a prolonged hard freeze for us even during the afternoon hours, a decent 36 hour event here, close to 72 hours, uh, where we could, you know, have the possibility of any pipes bursting in your home. I, you know, I'm not, I don't want to be negative. That sounds so negative. Gosh, just maybe plan on leaving uh, faucet dripping next week and uh, kind of plan on these frigid temperatures across the region. Temperatures in the 50s and 60s. Until then, for Canyon City, then we're down into the 20s. Tuesday and Wednesday, that will transition to the teens here in Colorado Springs. Get your electric blanket. <laughs> uh, three days in the deep freeze, Mary. I know. Yay. Okay.